हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू वोकेशनल एडुकेशन दैट इज कौशल बोध चैप्टर वन हाइड्रोपोनिक्स वी विल डू द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स आई हैव मेड द क्वेश्चन एंड आई हैव गिवन द सोल्यूशन फॉर यू बिकॉज इट इज नॉट गिवन इन द चैप्टर ओके वट इज द मेन प्रिंसिपल बिहाइंड हाइड्रोपोनिक्स एंड हाउ डज इट एंश्योर प्लांट ग्रोथ विदाउट सॉयल answer the basic idea is to provide plants all the nutrients they need dissolved in water and delivered straight to their roots because the water based fertilizer solution serves the main purpose as soil is providing plants with as soil in providing plants with nourishment dirt is no longer necessary list 3 advantages of hydroponic farming over traditional soil farming answer water efficiency recirculation can save up to 90% of water use faster growth in ideal conditions plants receive nutrients rapidly space saving because systems may be stacked vertically they are appropriate for urban settings name two disadvantages of hydroponics answer is high initial setup cost nutrient systems pumps and lighting are costly pieces of equipment power dependency for pumps and lighting many hydroponic systems require constant electricity number 4 in which scenario would hydroponics be specially better than traditional farming because hydroponics doesn't require rich soil and requires less water it can be used in arid areas with low soil quality and scarce water supplies which inert growing media could be used instead of soil give any four examples answer perlite coir made from coconuts rock wool pebbles of hydroton clay Okay. Number six. What is one reason plants often grow faster in hydroponics system? Plants use less energy looking for food and more energy growing because nutrients are easily found in water in the precise amounts needed. Seven. Give one example of a real world use of hydroponics in space research. Because hydroponics removes the need to transport soil into space, NASA is using it to research food growth for extended space trips. Okay, now multiple choice questions. What is hydroponics? Answer is growing plants without soil using a nutrient solution. Which of these is not an inert growing medium? Answer is compost. One major advantage advantage of hydroponics over traditional farming is it answer is uses less water. Which type of hydroponic system uses a thin flowing stream of nutrient solution over the roots? Answer is nutrient film technique NFT. NASA uses hydroponics primarily to to grow crops in space without soil okay short answer questions define hydroponics in your own words growing plants without soil is possible with hydroponics which uses nutrient rich water to supply vital nutrients straight to the roots name three inert growing media used in hydroponics Our uh, answer will be perlite, coconut, coir, rock wool. Give two advan disadvantages of hydroponic farming. Answer is high setup cost, dependency on electricity. Explain why hydroponics is considered water efficient compared to traditional farming, where a lot of water is lost to soil absorption. absorption and evaporation there is less water loss since nutrient solutions are recirculated mention two crops commonly grown using hydroponics lettuce tomatoes 
complex and competency competency based questions with answers case study uh, uh, study is being given uh, a live example of study is there urban transfer urban transformation hydroponics Gotham Greens operates urban greenhouses in cities like New York and Chicago using hydroponic systems to grow leafy greens uh, year around with 95% less water than traditional farming the produce is distributed locally reducing transportation emissions now the question i have made from this case study is explain how the use of hydroponics by companies like gotham greens addresses challenges related to urban food supply environmental sustain sustainability and resource scarcity provide two ways such a model can be adapted for other densely populated cities answer is gotham greens hydroponic system reduces cities dependency on far off farms by facilitating by facilitating high yield local production in constrained city locations hence resolving urban food supply challenges hydroponics water savings help with resource scarcity which is important in urban places where resources are scarce local distribution reduces the carbon footprint associated with produce transportation by integrating greenhouse operations on unused rooftops or vertical structures other cities can adopt this strategy use renewable energy to lessen the impact on environment as gotham greens has shown case based analytical question vertical hydroponics in singapore why sorry sky greens in Sh singapore established the world's first commercial vertical hydroponic farm using cylindrical towers to maximize space and reduce water use by up to 90% in what ways does sky greens vertical hydroponic approach help singapore address its unique agricultural challenges and what could be potential limitations of scaling this model in other geographic con contexts answer will be sky greens year round production and minimum land use help to alleviate singapore's main problems of food import dependency and land scarcity in keeping with singapore's sustain sustainability objectives the vertical design saves water and allows for high yields in compact spaces other such restric restrictions can be high operating and initial capital expenses reliable infra infrastructure and technical know how are required climate or energy expenses in areas unsuitable for vertical or indoor farming number 3 competency based scenario question hydroponics in resource scarce environments A dairy farmer uses a 72 tray hydroponic fodder system to produce 36 to 40 kg of fresh maize green fodder daily helping feed livestock under drought conditions. Evaluate the economic and operational benefits for livestock farmers adopting hydroponic fodder production in drought prone regions. What barriers might inhibit widespread adoption among small farmers answer is the profit is consistent dependable supply of feed irrespective of rainfall or season less water used than traditional fodder crops possible increase in the productivity and health of animals obstacles will be the initial setup expenses may be unaffordable technical expertise and continuous monitoring are required small holders have limited access to hydroponic equipment or financing number 
competency and critical thinking sustainability trade offs trade offs large scale hydroponic operations often require continuous electric power for pumps lights and climate control systems now the question here i will be discuss the sustainability trade offs in a uh, involved in high tech hydroponic operations especially regarding energy use propose two strategies that could make these systems more sustainable in the long term the answer for this is a little long okay the answer is large scale hydroponic farms have significant sustainability advantages since they can be established in urban locations use up to 98% less water than conventional farming and produce fewer food miles and associated emissions their energy use however represents a crucial trade off in certain operations these these systems constant electric power needs particularly for artificial lighting climate control and pumps can make up over 50% of their overall energy uses compared to more passive farming systems this has a higher carbon impact if it is fueled by traditional sources sustainability hydroponic operations spread offs advantages conserving water recirculating systems consume significantly less water because of the controlled conditions there is less need for pesticides or herbicides decreased food miles and land requirements increased yields and production throughout the year now cons will be pumps climate control and lights use a lot of electricity lights use a lot of electricity reliance on a steady power source crops are at risk from out outages possibly more startup and running expenses the energy source determines the environmental impact fossil fuels increase the carbon footprint long term sustainability techniques there are two main ways to increase the sustain sustainability of high tech hydroponic systems including renewable energy to power activities install wind turbines or solar panels renewable energy is already being used by some facilities which lowers emissions and lessens dependency on fossil fuels demand and supply can be balanced with the aid of developments in energy storage and smart grid integration energy efficiency can be increased by using combined heat and power chp systems to heat greenhouses or nutrient solutions using waste heat energy efficient technology adaptation utilize crop specific high efficiency led lights to significantly reduce electricity consumption when compared to outdated lighting systems for the cutting down on wasteful energy use can be achieved with smart automation for pumps and climate control which modifies settings in response to sensors and real time demand to lower the need for heating and cooling implement demand response tactics and retrofit buildings with passive systems and insulations Hydroponic farms can significantly reduce the environmental effect while preserving productivity and resource efficiency over time by integrating energy efficient technologies with renewable energy sources. So students I have made these questions with the solution you can prepare for your exam and if you have any doubt you are most welcome to the comment box and ask me anything thank you